Hey there! Welcome back to Sibley Studios. Mr. Sibley here. I'm doing this rather bizarre camera angle so you guys can see what's going on with my bass and my bow. Uh, first thing, I'm going to walk you through, I'm going to play a video demonstration of what you're supposed to do for your assignment this week. And then I'm going to come back and break it down and give you some uh, tips and tricks on how you can get that sound on your bass. So make sure you're doing your bow hold properly like it was discussed in your materials. Set your bow about halfway between the bridge and the fingerboard. And we're gonna count four D strings and four A strings like this. One, te, two, te, three, te, four, te, one, te, two, te, three, te, four, te, one, te, two, te, three, te, four, te. All right, so let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, remember with your bow hold, we're gonna take our middle finger, that middle knuckle of our middle finger, and we're gonna put that right next to the edge of this grip right here. I don't know if you can see it on my bow because it's got this extra rubber grip, but there's a leather grip underneath here. And I'm gonna set my middle finger right behind that. And then there's this little gap between the frog and the grip. There's a little bit of stick there. I'm gonna stick my thumb on this side, but right there between the frog and the grip is where my thumb goes. So middle finger, right next to the grip, thumb, uh, right across from that middle finger, and then these fingers just drape across the stick. They just wrap around the stick, nice and loose. They're not scrunched up, they're not spread out. They're just nice and relaxed. And my thumb is right across from that middle finger, right between the frog and the grip. So that's my bow hold, it's nice and relaxed. Okay, and when I set the bow on the string, I'm gonna let my arm relax into the string, okay? Like I mentioned a second ago, you want to have the bow about halfway between the bridge and the fingerboard. And the best way to tell if you're straight is actually to practice in front of a mirror. Okay, because when you look down at your bow, you might put it like this or like that, because that looks straight to you from this angle uh, above the base. But if you look in a mirror, you should see that your bow is perpendicular to the string. Okay, and that goes for these strings also. Then, to tilt the bow from string to string, I'm just going to lower my elbow to get to a lower string. There's the E string. To get to a higher string, I'm going to raise my elbow up to where I'm just touching that string. And you'll have to practice that a lot, just playing one string at a time. It's real easy, like say I want to play the D string, it's real easy to accidentally raise my elbow and end up on the G string, or conversely, drop my elbow and end up on the A string. So it takes a lot of practice to just bow one string at a time, okay? So that's gonna take a lot of work, don't be discouraged. Now, the bow stroke I'm demonstrating in your video is a Martelet stroke. That's got a, a very firm start and stop. The bow stops and then it stops again. I like to start students off with that kind of bow stroke because it forces them to put their arm weight to let gravity sink them into the string. If you do that bow stroke, you'll do that. Uh, the other thing I want to point out with my bow hold, notice I am touching that metal ferrule. I've got my fingers really wrapped around the stick. The more of your hand you have wrapped around that stick, the lighter you can hold it and the more relaxed you can be. And that's what you want to be. I don't know if you can see on my bow stroke how much my bow grip flexes. strokes so that's what you want nice reduced bow hold but anyway that's your uh, that's your test for this week so practice your open strings uh, I highly encourage you to practice open strings with your eyes closed to see if you can hit one string at a time without hitting the two adjacent strings okay let's go through that playing example one more time and this time see if you guys can play along with me you ready one te two te three te four te one te All right, guys. I hope that works out for you. See you on the dark side.